Last year, we broke the news that a Zelda movie was in development, that the Nintendo Cinematic Universe was on the way, and that Universal Studios was likely to add a Zelda land to their Universal Studios theme parks. Now, the rest of the media is catching up. And something that we knew but we could not yet say until it was broken by others was that Pokemon also coming to Universal Studios. Folks, it looks like Universal is going after Disney in a big, big way, trying to take down the House of Mouse. They just might do it. We'll tell you the latest on the smorgasbord of video game IPs coming to a theme park near you. Hello, folks. Welcome to the Pro Channel, the place where we put Holly Weird through the lens of reality and help them wake up to the fact they need to make money again. Today, we're talking about theme parks. Universal does not need to be reminded that money is at the top of their list of priorities. They are going to make oodles and doodles of money, perhaps even a Google of money. Uh, Adam Stark is the author behind this article that we're reading today out of Metro from the United Kingdom, which is apropos because the United Kingdom is going to be receiving a Universal Studios theme park almost definitely, as well as Spain. And maybe, we don't know this to be certain, but maybe even Germany. How is it possible that Universal Studios is, is getting all of these new theme parks and expanding the domestic theme parks at a time that Disney doesn't seem able to do so? Well, folks, we believe it's because Disney is buying Hulu from Universal. And guess what? Hulu is going to have a massive price tag in the many, 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 many billions of dollars. And that's plenty of money to fund new theme parks to take down Disney. What a thing that Disney is buying their downfall. Uh, but this is the article, Pokemon and Zelda Rides Coming to Universal Orlando Theme Parks Claims Rumor. New rumors suggest theme park attractions based on Pokemon, The Legend of Zelda, and Luigi's Mansion are planned for Universal Orlando in the coming years. I can confirm the first two, as far as my sources have been saying now for a long time. When it comes to Luigi's Mansion, I don't have any info on that one, folks. I do apologize there. That one's in my blind spot. With Super Nintendo World set to launch at Universal Orlando in Florida next year, it seems more rides based on video game properties could be in the works at the resort. Following parks in Japan and Universal Studios Hollywood in Los Angeles, Super Nintendo World is set to open at Universal Orlando in 2025, complete with Mario Kart, Bowser's Challenge, an outdoor Yoshi ride, and the planned Donkey Kong expansion, which also, by the way, features a roller coaster. That makes you feel like you're jumping off the tracks. Nintendo, however, isn't the only company to have announced a partnership with Universal in recent years. In 2021, the Pokemon Company partnered with the Universal Studios Japan to bring a uniquely Pokemon experience to the park, though no details of the attraction have emerged since. As reported by Orlando Park Stop, however, plans for a Pokemon-themed area look set to be replicated at the Orlando Resort, and it could be replacing the entire area of the Simpsons. Now, what are we talking about here, folks? We're talking about Universal Studios proper, which, by the way, was seeming like the antiquated fuddy-duddy of all the parks Universal has in Florida. And so, folks, we're going to be flooding Islands of Adventure to get to see Zelda, flooding Epic Universe to see Super Nintendo World and more, now, uh, they've pulled off the trifecta Pokemon likely coming to the original Universal's theme park, and that, well, that will create massive demand. We, in fact, here believe, likely, that the original Back to the Future uh, attraction show building will be used to create Pokey Stadium. And this may also include the Men in Black attraction as well, as well as even more space that is behind both of those areas what we're talking about now is an area that could actually be bigger than Galaxy's Edge in terms of an expansion. This is huge. Now, it's time to go to the panel because we have a huge roster of guests who would like to discuss this as, frankly, it's major, major news. And I'll, I'll put it out there, folks. I think we could be looking at the end of Disney dominance in theme parks. So you've got in 2023, 20, we saw the downfall of Disney at the box office where Universal beat Disney at the box office. I think 2025, 2026 is when the same happens with theme parks. There's no guarantee that Disney gets the crown back. And frankly, Disney has done every single decision possible to put themselves in this position. That they, they owned it. They were, sat, they were sat upon the throne for decades. And only Disney could take down Disney. And they did. Let's bring on the panel now. This is as big a deal, I think, as Super Nintendo World. Let's go to it and read now. This out of Orlando it's Park bigger, Stop. Then. This is bigger than Harry Potter, or as big. Yes, yes, and and here's the other thing. This is this is uh, something, and this happens from time to time. I'm going to shift the way that we've got the uh, screen looking, but we get more real estate there. Uh, 
I have known about this now for a while. And I was Same. told by multiple people, maybe even Vash. I don't remember Vash if you told me this, but mm -hmm. I was told to shut up and not say a word about this. Yep. <laughs> yep. I was forbidden from uh, breaking this scoop. And so I'm glad that it's out there now. I wish we could have broken it, but uh, you know, every once in a while we get we get information, and we're told you can know about this, but you can't talk about this. It's too risky, and so this is one that we've been sitting on for a while. Uh, we, we've made we some have jokes about relationships it even. in which, if we want to continue to cultivate them and continue to have That's them right. on, <laughs> we're forbidden from saying anything. So. so we've we've made some jokes, but here it is: this coming mm -hmm. out today. And hopefully Orlando Park Stop is not one of those sites that has those sources and has burned them. We hope we hope they're not the ones who did this. But anyway, Universal Orlando rumors. Pokemon replacing Simpsons, Zelda in Lost Continent, and Luigi's Mansion for Epic Universe. The uh, We've reported on Zelda in Lost Continent before. Luigi's Mansion is something that they've talked about. Vash, you and Jonas over on That Park Place, the YouTube channel. But Pokemon replacing Simpsons, this is big, and we're going to show you why in just a moment. Yep. The first Nintendo-based land for Universal Orlando will open at Epic Universe next year, but rumors suggest we may see additional lands based on video game franchises in the coming years as well. Pokemon is now rumored to replace The Simpsons in Universal Studios Florida. Zelda is expected to take over Lost Continent and Islands of Adventure, and we may even see Luigi's Mansion added to Epic Universe. And then they have the uh, link to the, to the website. Uh, Vash, talk to us for a moment about why this is such a big deal to have The Simpsons replaced with Pokemon. Yeah, it's a huge deal because a lot of people were kind of wondering what was going to happen with The Simpsons now that, well, Disney has uh, owns them through the Fox acquisition back in 2019. Now, this contract is not perpetual, unlike the Marvel contract, for example, which, uh, you know, that just goes into infinitum, basically, until some side reached an agreement on what's going to happen there. Um, this, uh, this was a contract that was going to expire in 2028. So a lot of the rumors and suggestions were what would be replacing this potentially on both coasts. Well, we do know for a fact that uh, Pokemon is going to make its way into Universal Japan, uh, taking over the Spider-Man attraction over there. So one could conclude, well, maybe, you know, uh, uh, Disney and Universal can come to some agreement in order to uh, facilitate the change out of the Spider-Man over there in uh, Islands of Adventure. But it turns out it looks like they are going this route to replace the Simpsons ride. Uh, on maybe potentially both coasts with uh, Pokemon itself, and it could extend into a brand new land. We were looking at the Fast and Furious coaster uh, concept artwork, for example, on uh, University of Hollywood, and we were seeing, well, why isn't Simpsons there? <laughs> so the writing was on the wall here. It looks like, um, and according to Alicia Stella and what she's uh, hearing here, it looks like Pokemon is going to be the draw here, and that could uh, facilitate all the changing out of uh, a, a, a bunch of things. Uh, as you'll know, that park place has been reporting that this section of the park hasn't necessarily been opening on on time with the rest of the park because, well, there's little demand for the attractions over there. So this could facilitate a big new expansion uh, replacement for uh, various areas of this park and be the draw uh, that uh, Universal so desperately wants for this area of the park. So let's explore that, folks. Uh, Universal Studios proper uh, is next to, of course, you go across the uh, city walk and you're in Islands of Adventure. Epic Universe is going to be close uh, to these parks, but it's not completely connected. But Universal Studios struggling mightily versus Islands of Adventure. Isl Islands of Adventure also getting Zelda. So we all thought, well, shoot, this is going to be a dead park outside of the very small additional Harry Potter land that is in Universal Studios proper. Now... And, and by the way, lots of people out there think that Pokemon is owned by Nintendo. That's not the case. So Universal is doing a fabulous job of picking up contracts. Uh, so let's take a look at this. What we're saying is that from where this street here begins, right? This is Springfield. Right. What we're talking about is from this street over and including Krusty Land, which is where the uh, Simpsons ride is located and was once the Back to the Future ride, but also... This could potentially include the Men in Black ride, and it could include uh, this area backstage, which is used for all kinds of housings and offices and all that sort of thing. Look at all this land that they could open up. You're talking about from here all the way over uh, to the perimeter road, all of that being turned into a Pokemon area. And I am hearing, Vash, don't know this for sure yet, speculation on my part, but I am hearing that the Simpsons ride could be turned into Pokey Stadium. Uh, so, 
you look at all of this, all of this land, this is potentially bigger than Galaxy's Edge. This is a huge expansion if it happens. And frankly, this is exactly what Universal needs to take down the Walt Disney World Resort in terms of being the biggest theme park resort in Orlando. And uh, I, I think it's, I think they now have a very strong potential of that happening. Uh, your thoughts? Uh, I mean, we have seen double digit returns from just Super Nintendo alone. And, and, and that's not even just, that's not even with Epic Universe. That's just, just at the two existing parks where that currently exists. And we've seen huge numbers. They get Pokemon. I mean, the sky is the limit on this. And folks, that is a wrap for today. For this video, we, we sure do appreciate you stopping by, though. Thank you for sharing your time. We never take it for granted. An attitude of gratitude on this channel each and every time you click on a video. We surely uh, do love spending our time with you. Thank you so much. And if you like that kind of thing, consider clicking the like button. Share, subscribe, click it, stick it to the algorithms. It's the notification bell. And drop a comment down below. Don't let this be just a uh, dialogue between talking heads on YouTube. No, join the community and share your thoughts as well. Your mind really matters. Folks, wherever you are and whatever you're doing, keep learning, keep growing. And I guess like Universal Studios, keep having fun.